2K Sports, delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. Today's coverage of the TGC Open is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Look, I'll be here alongside Rich Beam, and Rich, it's like the first day at school, isn't it? This player's now made it to the PGA Tour. What could possibly be going on through their mind? They're just trying to not vomit <laughs> when they're on the first team loop. <laughs> Nobody's thinking about the money and the excitement <laughs> and the major wins. And this is the answer. You are literally so excited to hit that first tee shot. You really don't care where it goes, but you want it to be in play. But right. you just, that's the only thing that you can. Let's just get going. That's the only thing that you can possibly comprehend mm -hmm. is hitting that ball. That's the only thing you can. I, I dare any other player to say, well, <laughs> This is the right. yeah. first of many unbelievable opportunities. Listen, we, we can talk about everything that they want to achieve or what their career was, but right now their one and only goal is getting that first tee shot in play somewhere. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. That's pretty fancy. Nice start. Yeah, you got to love seeing those go in early. Puts you in a good mood for the rest of the day. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good, opening the first with an underpass score. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. <laughs> Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. John, what's going on out there? I'm down here on the fifth hole. This is Gary Woodland's next shot. Getting ready to play their third. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Oh, that's the hands of a surgeon. Lovely touch. Judging it beautifully. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. A wonderful shot, a chance for Booty here at the second. 11 feet left to the hole. This is a good chance. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Gonna like it. He's feeling it. Currently two under for the day. Ooh, I always love these holes. Here we have a par three. Looks like they've got the five wood. Pretty sure that one's headed left. That's not the outcome they were after. Not taking enough club to get it there. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. Okay, steady now. Bogey putt coming up here. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it.
They've held it. That'll be for Bernie. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Tears yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Ah, looks like this one's contracted the dreaded hooks. Well, this should affect the ball flight. No, that's not the shot they wanted. Down the deep rough. This will take a big hack to get out here. Looks to be going with the five iron. And that shot back in the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. Only one shot off the pace. Oh, almost went in. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks. Trailing by a couple of strokes now. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. That is right down the sprinkler line. Second shot here on the fifth. Should find the green here. Well, not a bad approach, that one up onto the green. A couple of putts from there, and that'll be a pretty good hole. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. That's the right pace. This should drop. Nice putt to make that one. Give yourselves a pat on the back. And that will take him to two under. Tommy Fleetwood currently in the lead. You've arrived at a par five. And this effort by Justin Thomas just a short while ago. Let's recap this long-range effort. Wonderful effort. Second shot here on the sixth. it it's okay sitting at two under currently tied for second opting for the five iron oh, come on sit not a bad shot that still a chance there's a long way but i tell you what i've seen it happen before so there's a chance Right by the hole. Papa coming up here. Yeah, we'll take that. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. 
Tinging off here at the seventh. Yeah, nicely played. Outside chance of the birdie, but a two putt here is still good. Getting ready to play their third. Didn't that look good for a long time? Let's return to live play now. now this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Didn't quite hit it, did you? Mm, can share the lead here if you can hold this putt. Tracking. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. A couple under at this stage, currently tied for top spot. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Lovely touch. Well played. Gotta say his short game is phenomenal and there it is and that makes him tied for first welcome to the tee at this par five hole go get after it well this should find the short grass Moments ago, a beautiful shot happened on the course. Let's take a look at it. Our current leader showing us why they're on top. Well, that's high quality. I'm sure they're aiming for it, but for it to go in, that's awesome. Okay, let's get back to the action. Sitting at two under par, currently tied for first place. And here we are with the third shot. This one might need to sit. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. They're lining up the birdie putt here. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And with that, he'll move to three under par. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. That's heading into the rough, I think. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this line? Well, they're in deep here, guys. Really nestled into this sand trap. Let's see what happens. That was a little untidy, wasn't it? Just off the fairway in the first cut. Well played, mate. This is a par putt. 
and will hold. Let's move on. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that, you've reached the 11th hole and the tee is yours. That's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Opting for the 9-iron. Well, this one's right at the pin. Wow, what a shot. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Nice stroke. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hold. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Down to the 12th hole, guys. This is JT's next shot. From the sand, looking to get up and down. Oh, my. How about that for a par? Oh, trying to hit a little punch shot, and they do to perfection. What a shot indeed. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hollow long one. Still counts. This one here, this is for back-to-back -back birdies, moving him in the right direction. And now we go to the 15th, where this happened just a moment ago. Let's take a look at Gary Woodland from earlier. Oh, that's a sensational moment. Mark that down as a highlight today. Well, this would be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Oh, what a great stroke. Oh, just missed. Big putt for par coming up. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Leading by a couple after that hole. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. That was wonderfully done. Getting ready to play their third. Going with the pitching wedge here. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. That's well played. Pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. Three feet to go here to the hole. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And with that, he'll move to five under par. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Beautiful swing there. Not sure if this one will stay on the short grass. Let's have a look at Patrick Cantlay. Not far from the green here, just in the greenside rough. Ooh, that almost went down. And back to the course with the 
Live action. Patrick Cantlay was known as that can't miss kid. He went through all sorts of issues injury wise and also personally losing his friend and caddy in a tragic accident but he's a guy who has finally found his way to the top is it where it belongs rich he's one of the purest swingers ball strikers in the game and he's also got the competitive fire uh, that burns awfully bright in his system there's no doubt that he can be a force to contend with for years to come on the pga tour luke I think the one thing that he needs to be mindful of is his pace of play. I think at times it gets a little bit slow, but in saying that, if he's only hitting it 63 times around, how long can it take? <laughs> I mean, he's just, he's an amazing, amazing player. He sits in first position. We have a par three on this one. Going with the five wood. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Air mailed the green with that approach. Mm -mm. Straight out of the top draw. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Let's see if you can make this. Keep the par on the card. Oh, nice looking putt. And in it goes for the par. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. Time to step on your tee shot here at this long par four. Not too sure that was, but that didn't even come close to resembling a golf swing. Let's take a look at Justin Thomas from earlier. Oh, check this out. Showing us how it's done from the sand. Let's get back to it, shall we? Rich, there's a lot to like about Justin Thomas, isn't there? He's uh, short in stature and not a big build, but a really pound for pound great player. He's learned a lot on how to play the game over the first few years on tour. He always tried to hit it as hard as he could. Now he's developed a, another game within a game. He's starting to hit these shorter shots with lots of feel, lots of touch. Right now, Justin Thomas is one of the most complete players in the game. He's also got a wonderful attitude out there. He takes the good with the bad. But when he's in contention, it just seems to bring out the best in him, doesn't it? He's got a killer instinct about him, and when he gets around the lead, he doesn't let it go easily. He, he sticks around. He may not win all the time, but I tell you, he's going to make you earn that victory if he doesn't get there first. What a bad line, this one. Sitting at four under for the day, currently in the lead. <laughs> Wonderfully played. Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. So close, but an easy par. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And now four under for the day. All right, one more hole to go. Let's see how you handle the 18th. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. That's a good looking shot there. And here we are with the third shot.
This one looks like it's going left. Playing their fourth shot. Oh, I like the look of that shot there, Beamer. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. And with that putt, concludes this player's round. Well, that's a lovely way to finish the opening round. Out in front, the leader. Sounds great. And that's a good place to be after the first round. But listen, there's lots of golf to be played, multiple rounds they still have to navigate through. But after the first day, it gives you a lot of confidence going forward. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvin. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.